guys welcome back to my channel so today we're talking all about brushes and really my holy grail brushes ones I have to have every day to go through my makeup routine so if you are new here I'm Melissa thanks for joining us be sure to click the subscribe button and if you have been here welcome back and don't forget to subscribe click that like button and let's get started so I'm just gonna go through kind of like in the order that I use my brushes so I always start out not with a brush <laughs> Um, I do not, I know some people use a brush to apply their foundation, but I just have not, I have tried so many brushes with all different kinds of foundations and they just don't work for me. I always use a sponge to apply my foundation. So this one's the Morphe sponge. It's super big compared to this because I used it today. So it's still wet. And then the Beauty Blender. So both of them work great for me. Um, I use them interchangeably with both, any kind of foundation they work the same so those are what I use to apply my foundation and my concealer as well and then for my face brushes bronzer brush highlighter and setting powder so for my setting powder for my face I use this Ulta one I just talked about this in my favorites because I just found this brush but it is already in my holy grail this is the Ulta powder brush, um, and it's the same as the one I used to set my under eyes. This is the Ulta bronzer brush, and they're, they are just so fluffy, and uh, like you can put the smallest, I clearly, can you guys see that? I can't tell if you can see that like dust flying in the air. I need to wash them, uh, but it you can just put the powder on so lightly that it doesn't look cakey. I have been on the hunt for brushes like these for a very long time and I found them so they uh, are now in my holy grail brushes and yeah so this is for a face powder and I typically just set this area here and then this I set my under eye concealer with. And then I've got um, my bronzer one which is the Real Techniques powder brush. So I just bronze my face with this one. I've been using this one probably for five or six years. And then if I'm going to do just like a light contour bronze right here, I just give it a pinch and there. Um, yeah, so this one's great for bronzer. This is, I think this is like the only one I've used for bronzer since I've got it. It is awesome. And I believe this one came in a set with this um, and maybe some other brushes, I don't know. But this is the Real Techniques blush brush and it just has like the perfect size to put blush on. So I love that for my blush. And then there's a couple I use for highlighter, but the one that I reach for the most is the e.l.f. blush brush. So I mean you can see the size difference in this blush brush. And this one it is much tinier. I would never use this for blush, but it does work great because it's tapered here um, to just apply some highlighter right here. So that's what I use for my highlighter. And then you can just bring it down the nose, put a little bit right on your cupid's bow. Um, okay, so those are all my face brushes, like my must-haves, can't do my routine without them. Then we go into eye brushes. So mm -hmm. For crease and transition, um, if you guys have seen any of my tutorials, you know that I love my Morphe ones. This, the fluffy one is the Morphe M441, and this I use for that crease transition area. And then this one is the Morphe M433, and this is the pinched one right here. So this one I use really to get into that transition area right there and deepen up the crease or just give a little extra depth with a different color into the crease area. So those are two that I use daily. And then, oh my goodness, this is hard. This is not a must have, but I really like it for blending out without putting any shadow on it. And this is the Morphe M330. So it's fluffier than the other ones. Um, and I just like it for blending things once they're placed on there. Um, I typically don't put any shadow on this one. I only use it for blending things out. For the under eye, I love the M. 
431 by Morphe. This is just a small pencil, pencil brush so you can blend out your under eye colors with that one. And if I want to finely place color under my eye, this is not one I use all the time because I don't do this all the time. But if I do, I use the M432 by Morphe and it is just a flat, really thin brush. And that just allows me to pick it up on the edge and just place it exactly where I want it on the under, under eye and not have it any kind of blending or falling out of that shadow. And then for the lid, this is the hardest part because I've got so many and uh, like I could use these for the brow bone highlight as well. Um, I've got two eyeshadow brushes that I use. These are um, very similar and this I just use for placing eyeshadow all over the lid. This is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, $1.00. And this is the Morphe M167, and I think this might be 3 or $4, but they're just both very similar. They allow you to pick up um, a significant amount of color. They are both synthetic brushes um, and place that color down. So they pick up the color, they hold it on there, and then they place the color down. Um, and that is what these brushes are intended to do. So you can see them here. And then for outer V, I would have to, I use a lot of combination of brushes, just kind of depending on what I want my outer V to do. But probably the one I use the most and like the most for specific, for specifically placing shadow where I want it on the outer V is the M507. This, um, just very thin. So it just allows me to place it where I want there and it does have some blending uh, blending capabilities to it as well. So that is the Morphe M507. As for brows, um, I don't really use a brush for my brows. Um, I just got a super big piece of lettuce out of my teeth right here so I hope it wasn't in the video the whole time. If it was though, you should probably go back and get a laugh for your day because we could all use a laugh. <laughs> um, all right, so those are like my holy grail brushes, the ones I need for doing my makeup. Um, most of them are drugstore prices. Morphe is not like at the drugstore, but it's at Ulta, and most of those brushes are between four and seven dollars. Um, the e.l.f. ones around one to three dollars, the Real Techniques one. Ones are probably a little more expensive, but they're usually buy one, get one half price at Ulta, and you can use your 350 off coupon. And then the Ulta brushes are more expensive. They are, I think they're both $20, but they are typically buy one, get one half price. A lot of the times they're buy two, get one free, or buy two, get two free. So just wait for a sale on those, and you can use your coupon on that too. And then um, the Beauty Blender is $20 and the Morphe Sponge and the Morphe Sponge is $7. So um, those are those two. So yeah. I think we're done with brushes. I'm gonna put my video for how I clean my brushes up here. Uh, I, honestly, I think I probably have the best way of cleaning brushes. <laughs> Can I say that? Um, I've been cleaning my brushes the same way for seven years and they are all in great condition. Um, and typically if I keep up on cleaning them, I don't end up with any breakouts or anything. So I use um, a cleaner that's antibacterial. So um, yeah, check that video out. I feel like I, I don't know how to end the video. <laughs> So let's go ahead and end it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.